Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate here is a really old technique called radial projection. And it's a way to use just a ruler and a piece of paper and a calculator, if you're not great at math, to take a small pattern and enlarge it to the size you need. So the, these patterns for our Lycra leotard bases, they're all one-third of the actual size. So everything we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking times three. And to get started, all we're going to do, we selected the size we want to enlarge. And we're just going to tape, tape it to our piece of pattern paper. Because we don't want this to move at all through the process. And then the next thing you've got to do is just give yourself a zero, a starting point, anywhere that's on the bottom left of your image. So you could use this corner, or you could just put uh, an X somewhere. And that's where all of our measurements are going to start from. So every measurement is going to start from this X. So now using a yardstick, we're going to start plotting different points of our base uh, out onto the pattern paper. So putting the zero of my ruler on X, uh, let's start with the front pattern piece. I'm going to just pivot my ruler until a number that's easily multiplied by 3 shows up. So the left of my ruler is on our X, and 8 is hitting the front of the leotard front. So I'm going to take 8 times 3, which is 24, and I'm going to make a dot at 24 inches. Then we can find the top and bottom of this pattern piece. So the top of it is 9 and 7 eighths, so that's roughly 9.8 times 3, 29.4, so we could round it up to 29 and a half, and make a dot. Then we could do the bottom of our pattern piece, which is 6 and 3 quarters, so 6.75 times 3 is 20 and a quarter. And then we can just connect those dots with a straight line. And since we're human, some of the dots are going to be inside and outside of the straight line, so you just kind of split the difference. So now we've enlarged the front of our pattern piece three times larger out onto our paper. So now let's go ahead and put in a neck and a shoulder so you can see a little more how this goes. So always keep your ruler on zero. And I'm going to just pivot it until some number that looks easy nine and three quarters so it hits my neckline so I'm gonna take nine point seven five times three twenty nine and a quarter there's part of my neck and then we can do the highest part of the shoulder which is nine and seven eighths so nine point roughly nine point eight times three is twenty nine point four so just about a little less than twenty nine and a half then you can take a curved ruler and just kind of refer back to what the miniature one looks like and you can lay in your neck. So let's do a little more. Just remember that everything is times three. So since this is a big long straight line, now we can just do the other edge of it, which is nine inches. Nine times three is 27. And then we can use our straight ruler and just put in the next part of the shoulder. And you just keep working your way around. So we could do the bottom of the armhole. Eight and a quarter times three. Eight point two five times three. Twenty-four and three quarters. So if you want, now that we have the top and bottom of the armhole matched, you can just repeat this curve. If you're visual, you can just find a shallow curve like this and put it up there. Or, if you'd rather, you're welcome to find a few more points in your armhole. So hopefully this helps you uh, enlarge these patterns that are in one-third scale at home. Or you could just take them to Kinko's and have them enlarge them 300%. Um, and the last thing that makes it helpful, instead of trying to figure out what all the eighths are every time, if you're getting real precise with the ruler, just go ahead and write them out. So um, 
6 eighths, so you'd take 6 divided by 8, is 0.75. You could do 7 eighths. 7 divided by 8 is 0.875. And you could just write them all out on a piece of paper as you go. 5 eighths, 5 divided by 8, 0.625 and so on. Go ahead and divide 8 by 6. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did it wrong.